Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a beat remake. The popular Knife Talk, 21 Savage, and Drake. Let's get into it. Okay, so before I even get into the beat remake and the tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and play the beat. That way you have an idea on what the final product could be. So I'll just start it a little bit into it. So first thing we're gonna get into is the samples I use. I get all my samples from Splice and then some of the instruments. And then we're gonna get into programming, the patterns, and then the layout on the playlist editor. All right, so let's get into it. It's going to be, first up, Super Mario Kick Famous Rack. I almost did nothing to this kick. I just boosted the lows a little bit. Sounds something like this. Next thing is the MDL snare dry. I pitched it up about 260 cents and boosted like the 4,000 range on the EQ. Sounds something like this. I've got the 80s crush pack, the two hi-hat Zeinheiser. I rolled off the tail so it doesn't have as long a tail and boost the super highs. Sounds pretty crispy, just like this. That's kind of tucked into the background. It's not super prominent in this track. Vocal chant. This is from Fabian Mazur, I believe. It's the FM vocal chant one. So I pitched it down to make it sound more like the original. Uh, the Symbiosis Pack 808C1. I added some attack on the beginning of this. I, I guess I reduced the tail really is what it is, but I gave it, made it a little more punchy essentially. And it sounds something like this. Um, not too bad. I added the sound goodizer just a tiny bit, and then I boosted some of the lows again. Not quite as warm as the original, a little bit more distorted than I'd like, but it was the closest one I could find. We've got the CFX light for the piano. I have it on the after hours preset. And then I scooped the low mids and then added a compressor. I think I used the solid bus from Native Instruments, but you can you use whatever compressor you prefer. I've got this sample of strings from the Huxley pack. Um, it sounds like this. It's super faint, way in the background. And then I added a delay, chorus, and reverb. Um, you can use the FL ones. I used the uh, Fruity Delay 3 choral from Native Instruments. And I believe it's pronounced ROM. I guess maybe it's Room. Now that I think of it, I've never heard someone say it, but it's the reverb. I really love that reverb. Then we have contact session strings for this string line at the, uh, some of the softer parts of the song. And the ESM Iconic Crackle 6 Vintage Vinyl Gritty. And that's used when it's just piano for the most part. There's a little bit of vinyl crackle. You can hear that in the original. As far as some of the patterns go, now that we've got our samples out of the way, let's start building. The most prominent part of this beat that goes through the whole song is this piano line. This may not be exactly right, but it's pretty close. Uh, I spent a lot of time trying to get this right. The velocity is really important, making sure the velocity isn't even. Uh, this may be a sample that Metro used on this, but this is a pretty close representation of what that should sound like. But you got to mess with the velocity. Don't make it all level, just note by note. Turn it up, turn it down, depending on how it should sound. Next, we got that 808 coming in. This is the 808 pattern, pretty simple. It's important to cut out certain sections so it goes quiet that makes it hit harder on the next 808 and that's how it is produced on this track in particular also coming in at the same time as this string line it's pretty simple i'll show you how each of those sound by themselves first the strings that session strings from contact i don't think i changed much i just eq'd it so it cuts a lot of the lows and a little bit of the, the highs and this is the 808 And then we got that vinyl crackle. I looped the first part of it, and we get into the beat. The beat doesn't have a kick. It just relies on that 808 for the hit, for the punch. That's why I made that 808 extra punchy with uh, you know, a couple plugins, the sound goodizer, and adding a little bit of that attack. This is the snare pattern. It's just on the three. And then we've got this ghost note. It goes up our half step there, 
just to give it a little bit more energy. And then it's eighth notes for the hi-hat. That's for the whole thing, except for when the kick comes in, which isn't much, and it doesn't hit on the 808 like a lot of tracks do. It's a little bit offset. You can see that here. That's almost not in any part of the, the song. There's just a few sections where that kick comes in, hits pretty hard. Uh, I'll just play that right now, actually. The other element here is this chant. It's just on the one and the three. Comes in, I think, on 21's second verse, right around 133. You can barely hear it on the original. It's pushed way in the back, but gives it a little bit more energy, I suppose. And I believe the very last pattern we have here is this snare roll. And it's pretty simple, and I just use that same snare from the rest of the track. I pulled down the velocity a tiny bit and that sounds like this. All right, past that, it's just this arrangement. I only arranged out to about the first half. The rest of it is pretty similar, uh, just some different variations of what you see here. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this is helpful if you're trying to do some sort of remix or a remake or just want to see the ins and outs of this beat. It's good practice to get a better feel for how big name producers like Metro make their own beats and what that layout should look like. Also, go ahead and pull up that mixer real quick if you're interested. Um, and I'm, I'll play the beat. Um, I've got the kick in one. you got the snare and the hi-hat. That 808 is really present, really driving the track. That piano there, just to give you an idea of some of the levels. And this is that string in the background. And then that vinyl crackle. So there you have it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.